Hey, Mr. Keeling! Hello, Mr. Jordan, and hello, children. Welcome to our spooky story competition video. <laughs> are you, are you, oh, sorry, sorry. Are you about okay? That. Are you all right? What's I going don't know on? What happened to my voice there? I, it was just a bit of a. Uh, weird, weird one. Uh, anyway, sorry, as I was saying, welcome yeah. to our first video in our uh, story competition. Uh, it's going to be a spooky story competition that we're going to do. Wait a second, Mr. Keeling. It's almost Christmas time. What are you talking about spooky stories? What's that all about? Well, actually, at, uh, around this time, it is tradition uh, to tell kind of spooky, uh, ghosty uh, stories. I'll t uh, we'll talk about that later, though. I really okay. want to kind of get into this uh, this this competition that we're going to do. I love it. I love a competition. I'm really excited. And there are so many amazing little techniques that we can use to write a good spooky story, aren't there? Ah, stop right there. Stop right there. We are not going to go over the techniques today. In fact, okay. what we're going to do at the end of this video is we're just going to challenge you out there, children and adults, if your parents parents want to get involved we're going to challenge you to write your own spooky story now the following videos we will give you some features to yep. add into your stories but we want you to edit these in because editing is where the magic really happens you get down your ideas you don't worry about spelling you don't worry about punctuation too much you can add that later and that is what we're going to do we're going to try and write something first and then we're going to teach you little bits to edit in afterwards can i say mr keating i i think that's kind of and you know i don't mean to be pointing fingers but i think that's one of the weaknesses we have here at anglesey primary school we've got amazing ideas we've got all this fantastic stuff going in our brain and once we write it down we've got that kind of sense that well that's it it's done but it's never done is it no i mean you can always change you can always improve you can always get advice Absolutely. from other people uh, and we're going to give you lots of advice in these next videos about how to do it but to start off with yeah. i'm going to read you a little bit of a spooky story that i've been working on uh and uh, mr jordan if you want to pick up on anything as i read it any any description that you like uh, okay. please feel free to mention that now uh let me just go through it and it's called night scares Ooh. subtitle don't look in the mirror. The reason I called it Don't Look in the Mirror is because I used one of my own fears uh, from when I was a child. Um, because whenever whenever I used to get up at night and you uh, saw yourself in the mirror, mirror it bedroom, terrified you, yeah? I would have to go past this really dark, old looking mirror to get, ah. to, the, to, get to the restroom. And I never wanted to look into it. Uh, and so I used something that I was kind of scared of in right. my scary story so you can use your own kind of things that scare you but let's have a little listen so can i just be clear it's not what you would see in the mirror that you were scared of no 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 it was uh, uh it was a scary mirror <laughs> okay because that does sound scary i've got to say <laughs> okay here we go <clears throat> grandma was a witch that was no exaggeration either the whole town knew and often often spoke about it in hushed voices. Her appearance didn't help. She would often be seen dressed in all black and had a long nose with boils and all, which protruded out below her pale, gloomy eyes. Even her choice of companions served only to prove the stories of her wicked identity. It was a black, scraggy cat that followed her wherever she went. Not that she left the house very much. All she was missing was a pointed hat and a broomstick. Upon the very top of the highest and most solitary hill her house stood, crooked and lifeless except for the reams of ghastly green smoke that cascaded from the chimney. It watched the sleepy town below 
at night when the clock struck the hour that all should be in bed. Cackles could be heard ringing out through the various broken, dull windows. The manic laughter, however, was much better than the spine tingling screams. Ah! Wow. No less frequent, but no less present. It was for all these reasons and more that Zach did not to visit. I like it. Do you know what? There were all sorts of things in there that I noticed. I liked the uh, the hushed voice, and I heard that sort of shh in the hushed voice. I liked that she had that long nose with boils popping out of it, and that she had a pale, gloomy skin. That was nice. And even the cat, I could picture because you didn't. It wasn't just a black cat, was it? It was a black, scraggy cat. Hmm. Interesting. Although you did tell me it was a cat. Oh, do you know what? Another thing. The, when the witch, the noise that she made, I wasn't quite sure what noise a witch made, but when you said cackle, I could hear that cackle. It was a really good sort of sound. I liked it. Stick. Good. Well, I, I'm really, I'm really glad that you uh, enjoyed it, Mr. Jordan. I got a lot out of it, but you know what? I'm going to get a lot more out of the children doing it, and I can't wait to see some of these stories. No, me too. And 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 you know that was just that was just an example. Yours doesn't have to be anything about that. You can you no. can make your uh, story about anything and anywhere you want. The only thing you need to do is try and make it spooky. It needs to be a little bit scary. We want to be scared, don't we, Mr. Jordan? I want to be scared. And can I say I'd like I'd like the children or the parents or anybody. I want try writing the story first off your own head and then come back and watch a few videos and then think about editing, because that is the skill that we're teaching. It's the going back over and the changing that we want to do, isn't it? Absolutely, and we can't wait to receive those. Where do we where do we send them when they're, when they're done, Mr. Jordan? I'm thinking, the well, I've got a multitude of places, but I'm thinking that year emails, so either year three, year two, year five, year six, emails, whatever it is, at Anglesey, we'll put the links all below. I'd also love to see some things going up on Google Classroom as well. If you're not on a lockdown, if you want to bring it into your teacher as well, that's absolutely fine. Your teacher, I'm sure, will have a look or we can get collected and sent to either me in Key Stage 2 or to you in Key Stage 1. There's an endless number of ways to get this into us, so, you know, there's no excuse. And I would just say, don't send it straight away. Once you've written your story, hold on to it and make sure you watch every one of the videos because they will give you key features that need to be put into that story and ones that we will be looking out for if we choose some to perhaps win a prize. Mm, I'm very excited. I love prizes. I love prizes. Me too. Me too. Brilliant. Right. Well, I think that's video one done, yeah? Absolutely. We'll see you next time, children. And uh, obviously, parents, if you want to get involved in writing a spooky story, we can't wait to read those either. Brilliant. All right. Bye. Bye.